What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Steph, also known as The Freckled One. As you already know by the title, I purchased the brand new Kosas Baked Setting Powder. It is the Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder. I immediately purchased this so that I could try it out for all of you, and I want to put it against the Ilia Setting Powder, which if you have been on my channel for a while, you know that I am absolutely obsessed with this. So I wanted to put both on my face, one on this side and one on this side, and see if they are comparable, if I like one more than the other, or if maybe I think that both work out for my face. I will get into the details of everything later on in the video. I will also include the timestamps down below so that you can skip to any part that you wish. And lastly, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking it. It really helps out my channel a lot and the more likes, the more views that I get, the more I hopefully will be able to afford purchasing products in the future so that I can test them out for you. Before I get into the wear test, this retails for $34 on the Sephora website. It looks like there are currently 10 shades that range from airy, which is sheer or very light, all the way to dreamy, which is a sheer, rich, deep tone. And on the other side, we have the Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder on Sephora. It retails for $34 and they do only have one shade of this specifically. However, on Sephora as well, um, you can get the Ilia Radiant Translucent Powder, which has SPF 20, and that does come in two shades. This is not either of those powders, um, but this is pretty translucent. Without further ado, let's get into the wear test. All right, so I already have a foundation, concealer, bronzer, and blush from other brands, not Kosas or Ilia, um, just some that I typically wear every single day. And for the big moment, we have the Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder. I really do enjoy this packaging. I think it's this beautiful blue and green ombre effect. And I have the shade Comfy Sheer Medium. So it says super smooth, no shine, all set. An ultra soft, sheer setting and smoothing powder baked with skincare actives that help minimize shine and the appearance of pores. I actually really like this packaging. Instead of it looking completely white, it kind of has this like beautiful lilac vibe to it. It's pretty much the exact same thing as their moisturizing bronzer that I did not like. If you want to see that video, I'll put it right up here. But I do like that they've remained consistent in that packaging. So just like I normally would with any other setting powder, I'm gonna use this tapered brush and I'm just going to lightly tap into it. And so I can already see it is baked, so we are gonna get quite a bit of like kickback in the air, but I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna do this side with Kosa. So. And just set where I normally would. All right, there we go. It's definitely mattifying for sure but we will see how this holds up throughout the day. Just right off the bat, I do like it because it doesn't add any like coverage at all. And it really does feel like it matches my skin tone. It's pretty sheer. And so on the other side, I'm gonna be using the Ilia Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. If you have watched my channel, you know that I absolutely love this stuff. So this is not new to me, but I am gonna set this side of my face using this powder. Just to keep it as consistent as I can, I'm gonna be using this brush, which is from the same set as the other brush. It just has um, a tapered, angle to it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in my lid, just about that much. Take my brush, put it right in there, tap off the excess, and go to town with setting very lightly. All right, that's that. Pretty simple. All right, here's my skin up close.
Both sides honestly look identical to me, at least in my viewfinder, and I would say that both sides are fairly mattified. I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. All right, I'm back with all of my makeup on. It is now exactly noon, so I have the whole day to test out which powder I like more, or maybe they're a tie, I have no idea. But this is the Kosas side, and here is the Ilya side. I think they both look great right now, but we will see if the powders compete in terms of making my makeup last longer, cracking, drying my skin out. We shall see. So I will see you, let's say, in four hours, maybe? Here we go. All right, this is my first check-in, and if you're asking, yes, I'm in pajamas by uh, 4 p.m. And it feels great. The makeup is looking really great on both sides. I feel like it hasn't changed very much in four hours, but my skin feels like it's still matte. I don't have a ton of oils peeking through on either side, and so far I'm happy with it. Um, I'm gonna check in at the very end of the night and uh, we'll see how this goes. Two hours later. All right, here is my final check-in. It is now about 6 p.m. and I'm ready to take off my makeup so I can smash my face into a pillow and get cozy. This is what the makeup's looking like and I think it looks fabulous on both sides. I honestly don't see a difference between either side, which is great. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with these results. My oils aren't peeking through, I'm not like flaking, and it just went really well. I will say that I haven't worn a mask at all today because I haven't left the house, but I imagine it would hold up pretty okay with a mask on. Um, but I tend to not wear, like, face makeup anyway if I am wearing a mask throughout the day, but not bad. As for my final thoughts on both products, you know that I love the Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder already. It's been on my channel multiple times, and I love it. Uh, there's just nothing, I have nothing bad to say about it. As for the new Kosas Cloud setting powder. I like it too, and I believe they're both the exact same price. I think if you were deciding between both of them, you would really just have to choose between using a loose powder, so that what you would want to go with Ilia if you preferred that method, or if you just want a compact, which you can put your brush directly into and not have to like tap anything out into the lid, then I would obviously go with the Kosas one. I do like that the Kosas setting powder has, I think, 10 shades. If you were someone with a deeper skin tone and have had issues with the Ilia setting powder because it does come in just that one shade, then leave a comment in the description box down below so that other folks who might have a similar or deep skin tone can get the heads up. Anyway, that is my final wrap up of this video and what I think about these two setting powders. I give both of them an A plus. I will see you in the next one. Bye.